Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Oh, man, non-binary awareness week. Oh, the beautiful thing they always want to teach us about they, them, and they want to teach it to our kids. Let's see. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm Leslie, and my pronouns are they, them. And I'm Ray. My pronouns are also they, them. And what are we celebrating this week, Ray? It is non-binary awareness week. And what does that mean? Well, that means if you don't feel like a boy in your heart, or a girl in your heart, or if you feel like neither, or both, you are seen, you are loved, and you are supported no matter what. That's right. We love you for who you are, no matter what you might look like on the outside. Who is we? Who is we? Look at you. We know who you are on the inside. And to all of our friends who might not be non-binary, how can we help them support our non-binary friends? Well, you can always make sure you're using the right pronouns because- Here, Here's the thing though, if you're gonna do this whole uh, Muppet thing, this whole puppet thing, how are you gonna talk while the puppet is also talking? I don't know, maybe, that means you're only pushing this towards kids, obviously that's what this video is about. This is not to go to adults, but I just find that weird. You want to respect your friends. Well, what if somebody accidentally calls me the wrong pronoun and you're with me? What would you do? Oh, I would simply say, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I see that you said she, but Leslie goes by they. I mean, you go, what? I'm not, I'm not doing all that. And then that little kid says, no. You know, <laughs> never mind. That simple, <laughs> that respectful. That is love. That is what being non-binary is love. about. We love you. We see you. Mwah! <laughs> Creeps, dude. Creeps. People who would... Sorry, guys. People who would do this to kids, it's just absolutely insane. Sorry, I got the sniffles. I'm still a little sick for some reason. I don't know. I haven't been able to get over it. Um, But people who wouldn't do this to kids is just absolutely insane. Listen, here's what I got to say, man. Man, and I, like, once again, I always say to try like to say, I've been working with kids for 20 years now in some form or some capacity. And when they do this kind of stuff to children, it's manipulating them. We all do this when we have taught children in some way. I normally try to not go this route and do the whole kid baby voice that they're doing. I just want y'all to notice that before I even continue. Look at that. Or a girl in your heart, or if you feel like neither or both. You are seen, you are loved, and- I don't know, man. I just never like that format. She's a little bit better than some of these people I see that are just like, hey, boys and girls, like all that kind of stuff. It just, that sounds even more creepy to me. But when you come, when you're trying to teach a child about being a they, them, don't you understand that you're confusing them anymore? You said that if you want to be a boy or girl in your heart, in your heart, that means what you're telling this kid is that for any moment at any time in their life, it, even as a child, when kids are just thinking about everything, they want to be Batman, Spider-Man. Kids think about being police officers, doctors. This stuff just comes across to them because life is completely new to them. So if you come and say, if you believe you're a girl in your heart, that's a terrible thing to say to a kid who is just learning life. That sounds manipulative to me when you say if you don't believe you're a boy or girl because what happens when these people come along into these kids' life? How do they get them to say that they're trans? They normally have to coerce them into it because here's how it goes. <clears throat> hey. Do you ever feel like sometimes you like to be a girl? Do you ever like to play with dolls? Yeah. Like sometimes you don't feel like you're a boy, right? Sometimes, sometimes you feel different. You don't feel like you, you belong with the boys. And then when you go to a girl, do you ever feel like sometimes you don't fit in with the girls? Like sometimes you like to do with the boys do? Do you ever feel like you're, you're different sometimes? Yeah, right? Like sometimes we feel different and that's okay. It's that, that just means you're non-binary. That just means that you can um, be a, a they them. You don't have to be a boy or girl. It's whatever you wanna be. You are loved and we will love you. We will love you even more if you give in to what we tell you. If I tell you you're a boy, 
or I tell you a girl, you just say yes and you comply. You do what I say when I say it because that's why we love you. But the second you turn on us, oh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. So, you're a boy, right? Okay, excellent. You're non-binary. Hmm. These people are evil when it comes to trying to get these kids to just uh, validate them. It's disgusting. It is very disgusting. And people who continue to do this kind of stuff, I will never be on their side. And even if they think they have good intentions, you got to really start thinking about these are kids, not little adults. They are children. We are supposed to teach them and let them make their own decisions eventually in their own life. Okay? But when you try to get them to say, are they a boy or girl when they're seven or eight, you are pushing them into a, a place that their parents haven't even had the conversation with them about. And I understand that every parent's fine. I got it. Okay? But still, keep yourself in your place. Okay? You don't have to teach this to kids. Leave the kids alone. Let them grow up. Let them live life. And let them be cool. Got it? Peace.